All right, guys, good morning. We have a huge day planned. We've got John from Shipstack, which means only one thing. We're putting new flooring in the boat. We're Nat and James, and this is our sailboat, Zephyr. She's taken us all over the world and been our home for three and a half years. With over 20,000 nautical miles under her keel and our sights firmly set on sailing around the world, we are on a mission to make some vital upgrades and much needed repairs. So join us every week for a new video. If you would like to support our journey, a great way is by clicking the subscribe button. Enjoy the video, guys. Welcome everyone to a special episode where we take you through the transformation of our cockpit and transom. We've spent the last two years researching trying to find the right quality of material that would suit our cockpit and one that would work with our budget. In the end we found this amazing company called Shipsdeck who specialize in custom marine decking. They offer high quality closed cell cross-link PE foam marine decking and our choice was to go with a 6mm natural teak look. Here. This is PE flooring. It's very durable, easy to clean, it's good on your feet, and it will make your boat look fantastic. And your boat is going to look fantastic. Awesome. Um, yeah, so right now he's laying all this plastic out to create these templates. And then from that, they will be able to cut the, uh, the flooring for our boat. So, pretty cool. Stay tuned. Amazing. And if you need anything, I'm about. Excellent. Done. Thank you, sir. It's been a Thank pleasure. Thank you so pleasure. much. How good is that jaw guy? I know, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> he's so nice, that guy. Yeah, he's and amazing. And he's so good at his job. I know. Oh my gosh, I cannot wait to see the flooring go in. So excited about this. They do something really cool, which I didn't know. They do this, what was it, is it laser? It is done pitching? with the laser, yep. Yeah, and so you, we're getting our logo actually on the transom, which is pretty cool. And they can put all kinds of stuff. So that's amazing. We didn't know that was gonna happen. So right now, John's just lying out all of the pieces that were templated and cut on the floor. We've got all of these little pieces he's gotta work out. Bit of a puzzle piece. And the idea here is that when John came in and created the templates, he's following the sections of the floor that were designed with the non-stick. What I mean is the floor is sectioned off. As you can see, you know, there's all these dividers between the non-skid. So the idea is that we've gone with the same pattern um, with the flooring here. So that should be pretty cool. All right, John, so what have you done and what are our next steps, mate? So the first preparation is we use acetone and we wipe everything down, which degreases everything, cleans it, and prepares the surface to accept glue and to accept the adhesive on the back of the material. So we've, after we've done that, which we have done, I've wiped all the surfaces down very thoroughly. We use a 3M tape primer. And what that does is it prepares the edges to seal them. And it makes the best um, connection between the tape on the back of the material and then the flooring itself. So it is a primer, not unlike what you would do with walls. You prime your walls first and then you paint them. It's gonna make a good seal between those two glues. So with this primer, John, do we have to let it cure for, like does it have sort of an incubation time before you put the, uh, you put the flooring on? It's not very long, it just has to dry. Okay. It is that this particular priming is primer is designed for this type of material. So there, this is not just a generic glue primer. This is a very specific glue primer that matches up with the glue that we use on the floor. 
and that's an important part of that because um, if you use some other type of blue primer, it'll work, but it will not be as effective. So we've uh, got our primer down. She's all nice and dry. What's the next step? Right? So the next step is we're going to put it down. We're going to take the adhesive to install it. I make a cut in the middle, very slightly through the adhesive paper. So it looks like that. Every piece I'll do it, some version of this. I get the position right first. Stick down the center. It's just peel and stick at that point. We've got all the primer already down. And then after we put it down, we take our roller and we just roll it to make a good connection with that deck and the primer. That's it. It's that simple. Amazing. John's got the cockpit table centerpiece down here. It looks incredible already. He's fixed it down, rolled it down. And I mean, as you can see, the transformation is so good. Now we're doing the table bits. try and get all of our teak lines lined up all the way from one end of the cockpit all the way back to the transom so not just the cockpit but the stairs and the transom piece at the very back so that's a bit of a tricky process but John's a master so I'm gonna help him out a little bit just to uh, make sure that everything stays nice and extra lined set up of hands. extra set of hands uh, not trained but I can do as I'm told very easily so let's have at it things John's trying to do is these gaps that you see here between the non-skid we're trying to make sure that those are all the same space 
everywhere you look in the cockpit, as well as lining the teak lines up, as I said, from the start all the way to the back. Transom pieces in. This is probably, I think, almost one of my favorite pieces. And why? It's got our logo on it. How good does that look? The guys at Shipstack did a great job. The detail is so perfect. I'm really surprised. I did not think it was going to come out that well, but it looks great. 